so I apologize for that inconvenience. Um, would it be too much trouble if you move where Joe's sitting? And then Joe, you can move where Ray's sitting. And Alexa? Yeah. Could I have you sit where I'm sitting, please? Is your music there? No. flight four just to get the sound of the group in my ears please. Just, I'm having trouble getting 
the parts to connect the way I want, and I don't know if that's my fault or whether with me not being able to connect with you guys or not. I'm, I'm doing okay with, with this side, but I don't know if I'm connecting enough with, with you guys. So I'm, this time I'm going to try to connect with you guys a little bit more with what I want to get out of these parts here. So just try to watch me a little bit more. I'm getting good eye contact from, from Emily. And so just try to be with me a little bit more. So from the edge, please. So where's the prep? Y'all see what I'm seeing there? It's like there's a lot of information in that. Like there's almost a double prep. You're not really doing a double prep, but there's almost a double prep there. So complete still. <coughs> Your prep should give the style and everything. And that's what I want you to pay attention to when you watch back. And when we try this again, I want you to really think, are you showing the style you want? For instance, sing us the melodic line at the beginning. And again, not like your, just like style lines. Okay. <coughs> Oh, 
always still tired from Pep Band. I apologize. But it's... <laughs> Okay, now can you sing the melodic contour of that? Can you actually sing the melodic thing? Um, is that a B flat? B, B flat. Let's play B flat. Here we go. I can't sing the little one. Well, wherever, <coughs> jump around the octaves, doesn't matter. Okay, that's uh, all right, don't worry about that. But Sorry, guys. The style, though, is this. And so there is there is likeness to it that, but as your conducting style shows me, everything pretty much is connected like this. And I don't know that that's really the style you're trying to get, is it? Because in some parts, in some parts, but like you talked about the pickups, ta di. So how can you help with that? Ta di and getting it out towards the tip of the tongue. Again, it's not about being at the tip of the tongue, but it's about getting the information as much out there as possible. Right now, the information is all live in here somewhere. Alright? Just start it again. Everybody playing from the top. I'm gonna stand up here because I want I might stop.
when I say his hand, I don't just I just mean everything about this area when he starts the breath. But it's not from here. Nothing from here. I mean, you all understand when I say nothing from here, there's always going to be some motion from here because otherwise your arm would be totally dead. But but it's the most of it needs to be. Just do this. Over exaggerate this. No, not this. See, you're still using this as your. How do I do that? <laughs> and don't pull like this. Go. see the difference? Look at mine. Where's the information primarily coming from? I mean, it's coming from some from here. I mean, the motion, not information. The motion is coming some from here, but primarily it's out here towards the end. Yours is pulling this way from your arm. And I'm, I'm over-exaggerating. I'm saying this, you can see it on there. Because what you have to work is to get... And then they'll all play together. Together? I want to get everybody's attention, but then I'm going to go. Can you hear them on the first two notes? So what does that say? With this instrumentation, they need to play that up. Mm -hmm. They need to play that. And I would like. So the left hand can go. You don't have to conduct everything, but if you show, da, da, give them that. When you watch back on the tape, you give the prep, and then there's no indication of that's where it really two is. Because this is the first time we have rhythm, rhythm, and then that sets up everything else with the subdivision. Does that make sense? You sure? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's try it. And I want you to, this time, I know, you know, it's just like we talked about, and I talked about with Joe last time. You get up there, or I talked about it in, in writing it, your stuff. You get up there and I throw a lot of stuff at you. And you try to assimilate as much of that as you can. And it's hard. It's hard to just do that on the fly. But I do it and I try to get you to do it so you can see what it is that I'm trying to get you to do. So then when you go back and watch, and go back and practice, and go back and reevaluate, you can try to not just implement it, but understand it from a physical standpoint. The other thing is, I'm also trying to get you to engage not just your physicality, but your ear up here as well. That's why I say, well, what did you hear? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I mean, did you hear the whole time you were running that? There was no, I couldn't hear those eight tones at all. Did you hear that? I could hear that. I could hear that the entrances were late. I could hear that some of the rhythms didn't fit together. That was about the extent of what I could hear other than. Okay. Well, that's good. But so did you not, you could not hear them at the beginning like I couldn't? It's hard to say because I'm trying to sing it in my head at the same time, so sometimes I don't know whether I'm hearing what's Well, in my head. and there's, there's a good thing. You do have to have the song running in your head, but it can't be running in your head so you can't hear what's coming out here. Because right. oftentimes that's a, that is the first issue that young conductors run into, young teachers run into, is that what's going on in their head is overshadowing what they're hearing out here. And so as a result, the group sounds better than they think it is, or sounds, it is worse than they think it is because everything in here sounds pretty good to them. 
And so that's where that whole idea of you get the oral image in your mind working, but then that image is kind of like here, so it doesn't cloud what you're hearing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So let's try it. I'll let you go. I'll let you keep going. But this time, um, I want you to do more than just show us time. I want you to show us style with everything that you do, including the use of the left hand. Right now, your left hand is pretty much mirroring your right hand. That's not all bad. That's not all bad. But if it doesn't do anything, then it's bad because it's not showing what you're trying to get us to show. So you say you've got the oral image in your mind. Get us to respond to it. I'm not saying look like everything, but get us to respond to what you want in your ear. All right? Did you feel Jenny on the while he's playing? Well, he's playing too with me. I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I want.
What did what did I do? Does anybody know? What did I do? Look at us. It was a lot of like eye contact and it was like uh, established eye contact well before. Well before. And this is not, you understand, I'm not getting after, I'm doing this for us, I'm saying it for us. But the prep there, when I gave that, I didn't just give the prep and go, I gave it in, I even gave it a little bit of a breath there. Now, once we actually start, if we started performing this more, I might not do that quite the same, because once I've established that, basically what have I done? I'm rehearsing in the same time that I'm going through, as opposed to just stop, okay, now do this, do this, do this, stop, do, I'm actually getting them to interact with me on that. So that's our goal, is to get as much, as much communication as we can non-verbally. Like right now I'm talking all the time, but I, we have, there's times where you have to talk to discuss the issue, but then once we start to understand the language of what we're doing. So I want you to go over and watch those things and see all that we've done there. But Tony, thank you. Nice job. First person up. Great job. Great preparation.